Installing the Kohler Right Temp, the next generation of shower valving. Before beginning the installation, determine how thick the finished wall will be. This video will demonstrate installation for a finished wall that is less than three quarters of an inch thick. A video demonstrating installations for finished walls that are thicker than three quarters of an inch is also available. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation and care instructions for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instruction. For thin wall installations, you will need to access the area behind the shower. For this installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Tape measure. Level. Drill with 3 16 inch bit. Sealant tape. Phillips screwdriver. Snap ring pliers. Utility knife or scissors. Pencil. Thermometer. Safety glasses. 1 half inch NPT pipe nipples or copper tube. Standard woodworking tools. And standard plumbing tools. Observe all local plumbing and building codes. Do not install a shutoff device on either outlet of this valve. The installation of any such device may create a cross-flow condition at the valve and affect water temperature. For shower-only installations, Kohler Company recommends that the valve be installed approximately 48 inches from the floor and the shower spout be installed a minimum of 72 inches from the floor. For installations that include both bath and shower spouts, Kohler Company recommends that the bath spout be installed a minimum of 4 inches above the bath rim and the valve be installed 10 inches above the bath spout. Before installing, determine the full configuration of your shower layout. Custom shower layouts may require variations in the plumbing that are not addressed in this video. Use only one half inch type L or M copper pipe between the valve and bath spout. Using other materials may cause water to flow from the shower head and the bath spout at the same time. Turn off the water supplies. Install the inlet and outlet pipes to the valve body. Position the finished wall in place. Determine the location of the valve hole in the finished wall. Mark a circle 4 inches in diameter at the valve location. If your valve has stops, draw two circles 1 inch in diameter at the stop locations. Determine the location of the bath spout. Mark the location on the finished wall. Cut out the holes for the stops. Cut out the hole for the valve. Cut out the hole for the bath spout. Mark the four screw locations above and below the hole. The screw locations should be one and three quarter inches apart and a quarter inch from the edge of the hole. Drill holes at each of the marked screw locations. Cut the lip off each side of the template using a utility knife or scissors. Attach the template to the valve body using the two pan head screws provided. Attach the template to the back of the wall using four number eight wood screws. Connect the inlet pipes to the water supplies. Install supports for the bath and shower piping. Make sure the pipes are plumb. Securely attach the bath and shower piping to the corresponding supports. Install temporary nipples in the shower and bath spout elbows. Be sure to apply sealant tape to all threaded connections. If your valve has stops, orient the tabs on the stops to the outside of the valve body and install the stops. Install the snap rings to the stops. To flush the pipes and pressure test the system, install the test cap to the valve body. If the test cap is not available, install the valve cartridge following the instructions included with the cartridge. Turn on the water supplies. If the valve has stops, open the stops. If the valve cartridge is installed, open the valve all the way. Flush the pipes to remove debris. If possible, turn off the water at the valve. For all other installations, Turn off the water supplies. Apply sealant tape and cap the outlets.
Turn on the water. And check all connections for leaks. Tighten the connections as necessary. Turn off the water supplies. If it is not already installed, install the valve cartridge following the instructions included with the cartridge. Warning! Risk of scalding. High water temperature can cause severe burns. Set the water temperature at or below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. To adjust the maximum temperature, remove the limit stop on the end of the valve. Open the valve and use a thermometer to measure the water temperature. When the water reaches the desired maximum temperature, replace the limit stop so it cannot turn past that point. If the limit stop does not fit flush against the tab, flip the stop over for a better fit. For all installations, install the valve trim by following the instructions included with the trim.